What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take an in-depth look at another prototype from XM Studios. This is one fourth scale Lobo from DC Classic Line. All right, so Lobo is a badass alien bounty hunter and you can just tell by looking at him. Now he is joyriding on his space hog with his dog, being a rebel. Uh, Lobo also is a good guy and a bad guy depend depending on who pays him more, okay? So, and uh, he's been fighting with a lot of superheroes in the DC universe. All right, let's start with the base. You can see a lot of green smoke and uh, yellow smoke and they all have like skull face uh, soul, I guess people that he killed and um, there's a speaker box with a design with a chain wrap around it with um, the skull right here also this speaker box has like a skull in between but it came broken and I just can't get in place so we'll just leave it at that couple of drums on each side and I'm not sure what this is it's probably a part of the speaker as well all right, also in the back of his space hog, you see uh, the exhaust with uh, the blue light coming out. This is really well sculpted and uh, yeah, very cool looking, you know, very colorful. All right, this is the, uh, another exhaust fan in the front to the exhaust pipe in the back. And you have his dog, Bulldog, riding next to him. Uh, this one actually, supposed to peg in in the back but I couldn't so I'll just rest him in like this I don't want to force it all right let's check out uh, underneath the space hog you can see the pedal on each side and the mechanical like some part of the exhaust everything is battle damage looks really good there's a big skull emblem in the front here looks really good then moving on, you have like a little machine gun on the side and the handlebar came separately. All right, and this side of the exhaust, you see uh, the fire, yellow fire distinguisher right here. This is cool, I like that. And in the back, you can see where he got his shotgun just sitting in here with the skull with a uh, chain around it. All right, in the front you have like a little exhaust fan and um, you have the headlights, which uh, it doesn't have light up function. Uh, and here you have uh, this, what kind of leather seat with all kinds of texture in it. It's all beat up. Very cool. And you can see the beat up gauge. Okay, let's check out Lobo himself. So he got like the uh, boots with the armor of the skull here. And he's wearing jeans with a little patch of dolphin, the space dolphin. Okay, his belt buckle, his belt. And he got a red ribbon tied around his leg. And uh, same boot as the other one. You can see the skull zipper, very cool. and. Uh, this particular one, I have him holding the guitar. You can see a lot of, uh, I don't know, like spine, somebody's spine around it. That's very cool. And look at the front. It's a skull. And you can see a little skull all the way up here as well, where the tuna is. All right, and he got on the biker jacket with a Bite Me fanboy patch in the back. This reminds me of the uh, Hell's Angel gang. Very cool. Um, you can see his skin tone is kind of grayish with a little bit of light blue inside. Right. And uh, his glove with the spike right here. Very nice. And moving on to the portrait, you can see he is having a blast with his tongue out, wearing a red goggle. Very nice. Hair is flowing in the wind. Well, in a space wind. Very cool. Like uh, you can actually see more of the white and blue 
on the skin tone right here. And uh, with this arm, you can see a lot of, um, he's pretty hairy on the arm, so they did a really good job right there showing it. Yep. All right, so that's basically the details. All right, you can see a lot of switch out that came with this piece, like uh, the left arm right here. It goes along with the another handlebar. Just push it in there like that. Very nice. All right, and his right hand switch out is a sickle. He's holding with uh, real chains as a weapon. All right, and check out the portrait. This one reminds me of um, the band Kiss with a spiky hair, paint face, and a long ass tongue sticking out. And this one is a dreadlock look. Very cool with the green teeth. Look at that. Awesome. All right, and uh, the dog two different one. This one on my left is basically the one that you saw sitting on the bike and this one you have you can see the sliver coming out of his mouth. This is with his right hand switch out where he's holding and ready to throw the dog. Very cute looking ones and you can see his wee wee. <laughs> All right, let's check out the dimension for it because, you know, uh, they made a one six scale of this already and the one fourth is just a lot bigger, as you can see. Um, depends on how you display him, but the depth here would be about 88 centimeter. It's either depth or length, depends on how you post it. And The, uh, the height is around 68 centimeter if you use the guitar, which is the tallest one. Um, also, uh, just the bass itself is around 43 centimeter in length. Again, depends on how you display him and if the depth from the front to back of the base is around 39 centimeter. Yeah, so you're gonna need a lot of room for this. But um, he can be up top and high because you know you can be seeing the bottom of this and you can still see him. So um, on my second shelf would actually be perfect for him. Okay, and um, I really like the jacket and the details of this. Really looks cool. Um, the skin tone, yeah, it's great, I think. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, there's nothing bad for me to say about this piece at all, other than uh, the switch out. Maybe, maybe it's just the prototype, but I'm having a hard time 
uh, trying to switch out to him holding the handle right here because, um, let me see, let me try not to break it. This piece will go in like so, and you also have to connect the handle and his arm here. See, uh, it doesn't go all the way in, so hopefully they will fix that. I don't want to force it too much because look at the handlebar right here. It, it's not straight, so I don't. If you put too much force in it, it is, something's gonna break. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully the production will be different and they will figure something out. All right. Um, as far as the portraits, they are all great. I don't know. Um, which one is my favorite, honestly, but this one look uh, maniacal, which I like. Let me change it out. But the dreadlock is looking mean as well. So uh, it's probably uh, between these two that, that I don't know which one to use. Here we go. That just look cool as well. That just look mean. This one just looks uh, maniacal. And this one just looks like he's having fun, but um, the spiky hair, just mm, not my favorite. Probably never gonna use this, but also it's pretty cool. All right, let me change up the right hand here. Now the sickle is pretty easy to put on, like here, and you can just do whatever with the chain or just wrap it around his dog. That's cool too. Just badass looking, man. All right, now let me change it up to where he is holding the dog, about to throw it. Now, this is where it's kind of hard if you can come here and see the peg is not centered it's kind of stay off this way so uh, the hand here has a hole where it will go through um, when I try to put it on it took me a long while so you just have to peg in it at the right angle so uh, hopefully the production piece will not have this problem but anyways yeah it's gonna take me a while to put it on, so, but you can just see it's like that. And also, the dog itself is pretty heavy, so you're gonna put a lot of weight right here. I'm not sure how that's gonna hold up in a long time. Yeah, that's the, about the only thing that I can say that they might have to um, you know, figure it out for production. But other than that, I think this piece is great nothing really bad to say about it and i am glad because i i have pre-ordered this one as well it's gonna look really good with my dc classic line overall i really think they did such a great job on the detail the scope the paint i can't even say anything bad about this whole thing i mean some people might say that okay xm just does too much um details on their statue but dude who doesn't like details i mean they put so much effort and uh, work into this and you can just see it from anywhere like all around 360 and you will appreciate this no doubt all right that's it for the in-depth look at the lobo prototype i think it's one of xm best work so uh Congratulations for who's getting this. And um, I have a couple more prototypes to show you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and see you on the next review. Peace.